Okay, so I'm going to take addition up a little level for some of you. Um, and we are going to be learning in this video how to add with decimal places, okay? So it's still using the same uh, strategies that we've been using before, but we're going to take it up a little level by adding our tenths and hundredths, okay? So if I start with 2.4 and I add onto that, oops, I'll just fix that, 1.87, I'm going to add them together, okay? Okay, so the first thing to do and the most important thing to do is to remember that our decimals don't move. So no matter what column you're in, the decimal place needs to remain steady, okay? So make sure that you line up your decimal places in your answer to match the ones bef up above. And then you want to make sure that you've outlined your place value. So we've got units there, we've got tenths, and now we've got hundredths. And it's really helpful to put your place value in to keep you right while you are adding, okay? So, um, sorry, I'm trying to move it. There we go, okay. I want you to remember that if there is not a number in beyond the tenths or hundredths uh, column, then that has no value, okay? So it could be 4.0, but the zero doesn't hold any place. It doesn't actually represent any numbers. So we don't need it to be there, but that doesn't mean that we can ignore it in our addition sum, okay? So I'll take the zero away, but you need to remember in your head that it's still there, okay? So I'm going to add zero and seven, which gives me seven hundredths, and I'm going to add four tenths and eight tenths, and that is going to give me, just like you would do with the other one, I'm going to have to carry my one over, okay? So I'll carry my one and I'll put my two down here, okay? And then I'm going to add my units or my ones, and that gives me four. So my answer is 4.27. But similarly so, you can do it through the same partitioning model. So I'm going to use the same sum, 2.4 add 1.87, okay? And the first thing I'm going to do is exactly the same as I taught you yesterday without the decimal points, okay, is to mark out your place value. So I've got hundredths and I've got tenths and then I put my units in my one column, okay. And in this number, I only have tenths and units so there aren't any hundredths. But now because I've written that out, I know that. So I'm going to partition my hundredths first. So I've got seven hundredths and zero hundredths, which gives me 0 0.07, which is seven hundredths. And then my tenths, eight tenths and four tenths. And if I add them together, that actually gives me 1.2. And then I'm going to add my units and that gives me three. And now I'm going to add those two together and 3 add 1.2 is 4.2 and then if I add the 4.2 to the 0 0.07 it gives me 4.027 uh, okay so I got the same answer both ways. <laughs> 